review for you guys. Um, before I get started, I just want to talk a little bit about the company. I'm going to be reviewing a co-wash conditioning cleanser from a company called Billingsley Essentials. And um, they sent me their co-wash in this cute little bag. And it has like... Thank you for your purchase and enjoy. And it has their website on there. Now, again, I did not purchase this product. It was sent to me from the company for review purposes. <laughs> so they included a little note with just a little bit of background on the company. I just want to point out this company donates a portion of all their proceeds to the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network and every other purchase that's on their website. So just this fact of Pancreatic Cancer Awareness really stood out to me because, um... My grandmother passed away in 2003 with pancreatic cancer. And just, you know, experiencing someone you love, go through that firsthand. It was a very, very, you know, hard thing. It's an aggressive type of cancer. Once we found out that she had it, we didn't have that much time with her. So, I mean, I think that's amazing that they are bringing awareness to this type of cancer through the um, through their product line. So I really, really think that's wonderful, and um, I just want to commend them for that and let you guys know that you can also go to the website, their website, and you can donate without even purchasing anything. You can make a donation as small as 25 cents. So I'll leave all of that in the description box below so you guys will know how to um, do that, how to go on there and make a donation if you wish or just shop around. So let's go ahead and get to this review. My hair is like all wild and crazy and you guys know that when it looks like this, I'm getting ready to wash it or co-wash. So again, the company is Billingsley Essentials. This is their avocado and almond growth and shine co-wash conditioning cleanser. So right off the bat, I really, really love the packaging. They have it nice in the little label. It tells you everything about it. Um, this is eight ounces. And they have a little ribbon on there, and it's purple, you know, for the pancreatic cancer awareness. So what I'm going to be doing right now is wetting my hair, and then I'm going to show you guys how this looks, you know, I'm going to show you guys what this is going to do for my hair as soon as I use it, okay? So this is my first time using it. Alright, guys, so my hair is wet, and I'm just going to go ahead and start applying I'm sorry that I have to do it this way. I just don't have it set up to where I can just videotape myself in the shower um, washing my hair quite yet. So, um, just a little bit about it. It has aloe vera. It's um, formulated for thick curly hair. It's anti-frizz and it's supposed to promote growth and shine. It has essential oils, natural oils, and it cleanses, revitalizes, curls, leaves hair smooth and shiny. It's lightweight. It includes avocado and almond. Um, and that's the blend that is supposed to um, help reduce the frizz and prevent split ends, make your hair fuller and thicker. So um, the directions say that you just apply it thoroughly from your roots to your ends and um, you can leave it on from three to five minutes and then rinse with water and repeat as needed. So I've got about this much. I don't want to get too much. Um, first off the bat, oh, that smells good. I love the smell of that. Okay. It's going to start working it in my hair. It already is just like super moisturizing, you guys. The smell of that is like, it smells so clean and fresh. It smells like, hmm, I can't even describe it, but I like it. It just smells really clean. Neutral. Doesn't smell fruity. It smells more like um, aloe-ish, is that a word? It smells kind of like it, you know, the aloe and um, it smells like mint a little bit. So, I like that about it. Okay, so you guys see what's happening? My hair, you know, my hair starts to do that. You know that it's getting really good moisture. Like I, like over here, I cannot run my fingers through my hair. I haven't put anything there. It's just wet. I can't run my fingers through. But as you can see, I'm running my fingers through this really, really good. It has a good amount of slip to it. It's on my nose. <laughs> but it has a good amount of slip. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more. I'm trying to scope out how much I'm going to have to use. So what I'm going to do is just work it through my roots back here. And I'm going to um, work it through. 
all the way. So far, you guys, this smell is so aromatherapeutic. <laughs> it's really, I really love the smell of this. It's making my scalp feel really good. It has a ton of slip. So I like that about it. It's not very thick. And of course, you don't want a co-wash to be thick because you want it to be um, moisturizing, but you want it to cleanse. So you don't want it to be too thick. And I think it's a good little um, amount of balance there. Now, my hair has not been combed in like <laughs> almost seven days. That feels so good. I could just like massage that into my scalp all day long. It's just defining my curls and making my hair, my curls pop. That's always a good sign for me that it's super moisturizing and it's doing a good job of moisturizing my hair. So, of course, I'll be able to tell how well it cleansed once I rinse it out and how my scalp feels. But so far, so good. So, guys, I've done this front side right here you can see the contrast I'm gonna turn the camera off and um, let it charge a little bit and then I'm gonna finish this side and I'll come back to you guys and show you what my hair looks like once the product is completely in my hair and once again that is the Billingsley essentials avocado and almond co-wash smells amazing so I'll be right back guys okay guys so I'm back I finished applying the Billingsley essentials co-wash um, almond and avocado co-wash to the rest of my hair and scalp. Um, as you can see, my hair is shrinking up. My curls are really, really defined, which means that it's super moisturizing to my hair. And um, I love the way it smells still. You can see my curls are really moisturized. I haven't rinsed it out yet. Um, it's been sitting right now for probably about six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out really, really good. And I'll show you guys um, what it looks like after that and give you my final thoughts on it. Because after I rinse it out, I'll be able to tell how good it cleansed my hair and my scalp. And so I'll see you guys in a few more seconds. Okay. I'm back and I've rinsed out the co-wash and you can see look how popping my curls are my hair feels so clean I just love the way it feels and look how my curls are popping can you see it's still dripping wet and I hope you can see I know the lighting is not good but so my hair and my scalp feels super clean. It definitely feels like it's ready for my conditioner, my deep conditioner, but it doesn't feel um, like it's stripped. It just feels like it's super clean and super soft. Um, my scalp feels good. So I had some flakes before I started this process with this um, Billingsley Essentials. So I was excited to see whether it was gonna get rid of those flakes and it did, as you can see. My scalp is really clear. Part of the section, so you can see. But you can see that. Very clean. The scent is still there, and I love that um, because I really like the scent. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my hair a little bit. But you guys, please, please check out the
Okay.